All right then gang, so now I have a few different pages. It would be nice to create a nav bar so we can link between those pages on the page. And by the way, I've deleted the test file inside projects because we don't need that anymore. Now, just one quick thing before we go on. When you're working with pages, if you sometimes delete them or move them around, you might get an error from Gatsby in the browser. Now, if you get that, don't worry, all you have to do is cancel out of the process down here where we run Gatsby Develop, and you can do that by clicking Control C. That's going to cancel out of that. Then you can run Gatsby Develop again. That's going to restart the server for us, and hopefully then the error will go away. All right then, so what I'm going to do is create a new navbar component. So where do we create this component? Well, we don't create it inside the pages folder because that wouldn't make any sense. The navbar is not going to be a page in itself. It's just going to be a component that we can drop into other pages. So what I'm going to do instead is create a new folder inside the source folder right here. So new folder, and I'm going to call this components. Now you don't have to call it components, you can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to keep my other non-page components that can be dropped into pages right here. So inside here, I'll create a new file called navbar. Now typically when I'm working with Gatsby, I generally start these with a capital letter, these dropping components. The pages down here, I don't use capitals, but the dropping components I do. So I'm going to call this navbar.js. This will be a React functional component called navbar. Okay then, so I want to keep this really simple. First of all, I'm going to change the div to a nav. And then inside here, I'm going to do an h1 that says web, oops, let me create that tag first of all. It's going to say web warrior, cheesy name, I know. And then down here, I'm going to do a div. I'm going to give this a class name of links. And that's just so that if I want to style this later on, I can do. All right then, so now I want several different links. So you might think I use anchor tags, but no, we don't do that. Much like we don't do that in React applications. We use a special component called a link component instead. And that's the same as just using React on its own without Gatsby. That link component means that all the routing is handled in the browser only, and we don't send extra requests for new pages to the server. Because if we didn't use that link component, this, would actually send a request to the server. We don't want this to happen because when we get that initial page, we want our application to behave more like a single page application where all routing is done in the browser. So instead of this, we need to do a link tag. And what I'm gonna do is just click on that and it should auto import it at the top. So we import link from Gatsby. All right then. So this thing right here has a prop called two, and that is basically the href. What route do we want to go to when someone clicks on this link? Now, the first one is going to be forward slash, and that is going to be just for the home page. So let me duplicate this a couple of times. The second one is going to be to forward slash about, and that's for this about page. So let's change the text to about. And then finally, I'm going to go to forward slash projects, which remember is going to be this index page inside the project folder. And right here, I'm going to call this port folio projects like so. If I can spell it, that is. All right. So we have this component now, and all we have to do is now nest this component into our pages. Now, I'm not going to do it in all of them to begin with. I'm just going to go to the index file over here, and I'm going to nest it at the top of this file. So first of all, let me import it at the top. So import navbar, and it's going to be from. Then we need to come out of this current pages folder first. So dot dot forward slash, then into components. Then we want the navbar file. All right, so now we can nest that inside here, navbar, like so. Okay then, and again, if you're struggling with any of this React code, definitely check out my React series first because this is all pretty basic React stuff. All right, so now hopefully, we should see this navbar content at the top of the homepage. Let me try this out. Yep, we can see it right here. And if we click on one of these, for example, portfolio projects, we see that page and it all happened really quickly because all the routing is happening in the browser now. If I go to about, we see the about page. Obviously, we're already on the home page, so that does nothing. So that is our links done and that is our navbar done. 
Now, what we could do is we could take this nav bar and we could place it at the top of every different file. And then also maybe if we wanted a footer component, we could create one of those and we could place that at the bottom of every different file. And then the same for a sidebar. If we had one of those, we'd create a sidebar component and we'd nest that in each of these different files as well. But it all gets a little bit too complex and hard to update if we're nesting three or four different layout components, things that don't change over each page in our pages. Instead, it would be nice to create a single layout component which incorporates the navbar, the footer, and anything else that's consistent across all pages, and then just wrap all of our different pages right here with that single layout component. And we're gonna see how to do that next.